In this tutorial, you will learn how to use content-aware filling in Photoshop. But before we start, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and make sure to press the bell button to be first to know about our new videos. Content-Aware Fill Workspace allows you to seamlessly fill a selected portion of an image with content sampled from other parts of the image. Open an image in Photoshop. Use any selection tool to select a part of the image you want to fill. Choose Edit, Content-Aware Fill. Within the Content-Aware Fill Workspace, the document window displays the default sampling area as an overlay mask over the image. You can use tools provided in the Tools panel at the left of the screen to modify the sampling area and your initial selection of the fill area. In the Content-Aware Fill panel at the right of the screen, you can specify sampling options, fill settings and output settings to get the desired fill results in the image. As you make changes, the preview panel displays a live full-resolution preview of the output. In most cases, you might still want to fine-tune the results. For this, you have a selection of tools. Sampling Brush Tool Use this tool to add or remove from the sampling area used to fill the selection. To toggle between Add or Subtract, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. You can also change the size of the brush on the top bar. Lasso Tool and Polygonal Lasso Tool Use these to add or subtract the selection that will be filled. This will be the area directly affected by the content-aware fill. Here on the top you have a few options as to how your selection behaves. There's also the button to expand or contract your selection by specified pixels. Hand and Zoom tools are used to move around the image and zoom in or out. In addition, you also have a few general settings for your content-aware fill. Show Sampling Area Select this option to show the sampling area or the excluded area as an overlay on the image in the document window. Opacity This sets the opacity of the overlay displayed in the document window. To adjust the opacity, drag the slider or type a percentage value in the text box. Color Assign color to the overlay displayed in the document window. Click the color selection box and then choose a color from Adobe Color Picker. Indicates Shows the overlay in the sampling or the excluded area. Choose an option from the drop-down list, sampling area or excluded area. Color adaptation allows contrast and brightness to adapt for a better match. This setting is useful for filling content with gradual color or texture changes. Rotation adaptation allows content rotation for a better match. This setting is useful for filling content with rotated or curved patterns such as flowers or tires. Scale Select this option to allow content resizing for a better match. It works well for filling content with repeating patterns of different sizes or under perspective. Mirror Select this option to allow content to be flipped horizontally for a better match. This is useful for images with horizontal symmetry. Once you are satisfied with the results, you can choose whether you want the results to be output to a new layer separately, applied to the current layer, or apply to a duplicate layer. Once you're done, press OK. To cancel it, press Cancel. In addition, you can also use the reverse arrow icon to undo your steps. What other tools do you use to remove content? 